They said Bluetooth was meant for short distances. Let's bust that myth today. Before we dive into this electrifying episode, I've got some thrilling news. Silicon Labs has teamed up with us, Novelbits, for a spectacular giveaway. We're gifting a few lucky winners free BG22 Explorer kits for a limited time only. If you're interested, check the description below for more information on how to enter. And trust me, you'll want to get your hands on this dev kit after you see what it can do. But that's not all. Stick around and you'll see a drone doing something with Bluetooth you've never imagined. For years, we've been told that Bluetooth low energy is great for wearables, medical devices, fitness trackers, and controlling door locks. But venture out a little farther and you'd lose connection, right? Many believe Bluetooth is only for short range communication. Today, we will shatter that belief. To understand how we're going to break this myth, let's dive into some tech magic called Coded Phi. This isn't your typical Bluetooth story. Okay, so let's get into the heart of today's myth-busting Coded Phi. Now, for many of you who've used Bluetooth, you might have thought it's quick, it's reliable for short distances. But here's where the game changes. Bluetooth has been evolving, my friends, and with Bluetooth version 5.0, a little magic called Coded Phi entered the scene. But what is this Coded Phi? In the simplest terms, it's a technique that boosts the range of Bluetooth signals without the need for increasing the transmit power. How, you may ask? By introducing redundancy in Bluetooth packets and using two new data rates. We've got S2, which is 500 kilobits per second, and S8, which is 125 kilobits per second. These aren't just random numbers. They represent the number of symbols representing each bit in your data, or in layman terms, the safety net for our data. All this without the need to increase the transmit power on the transmitter. Brilliant. So why does this matter? Think of it like this. The more the safety net or coding, the further our Bluetooth signal can travel without getting lost or jumbled up. It's like just sending a letter with multiple envelopes for protection. This boosts our Bluetooth range by up to four times compared to older versions. Imagine connecting devices across a football field or even farther. But as with all tech wonders, there's a price. While Coded Phi gives us a supercharged range, it does slow down our data speed. It's a bit of a trade-off. Would you rather have a snail travel a marathon or a cheetah sprint a 100 meter dash? It's crucial to understand this balance and choose based on what we need. But for applications needing the extra range, Coded Phi is a game changer. So the next time you think Bluetooth is just about short distances, remember the magic of Coded Phi. It's redefining boundaries and pushing the limits of what we once believed. So stay with me because now that you're armed with this knowledge, you're going to love what comes next. All right, so this is my setup. I have the drone here and I have a battery pack attached via Velcro to the drone. And then I have the development kit connected to the battery pack and also attached via Velcro to the drone. And we should be good to go. All right, it's showtime. So here's the drone. This is the view from the drone. I don't have an extra camera to record the drone itself. But here I have the EFR Connect mobile app and it's discovered the development kit and I'm gonna connect to it. And then we're gonna fly it up and see how far it goes. And we can monitor the RSSI up here so let's go ahead and do this. All right, so it's at 14, nine meters of height and 14 meter distance right now. Let's go ahead and move it forward. All right, 100 meters, let's go up a little. I'm at a height of 11 meters. 120, 140 meters, 160, it's 
200 meters still connected as you can see it's at minus 98 dBm 245 meters signal still strong minus 100 dBm going a little bit further and see how far we can go Two hundred eighty meters, three hundred thirteen meters, we're getting closer to three fifty, three hundred fifty meters. Let's see when we're going to get disconnected. Minus one oh five dBm. And the drone is at 11 meters high, still getting a good signal, 350 meters. It's getting close to 400 meters. There we've hit 400 meters and it's still connected at minus 103 dBm. Let's continue a little bit more. Still connected, minus 103 dBm. It's 460 meters. Let's go this way, see if we can get a little bit further. That is around 500 meters. And still getting a signal. Still at minus 100 dBm. It's impressive. It's 510. Okay, we just disconnected. So it was around 510 meters. So let's come back home. Landing. Today, we didn't just talk tech, we challenged conventions. The next time someone says Bluetooth is just for short ranges, show them this video. Oh, and don't forget about the Silicon Labs and Novel Bits giveaway. Entry is available only for a limited time. Check out the description below for more information. Participate, explore, and maybe you can even perform your own Bluetooth magic with Coded Phi. I'll see you guys in the next one.